Hey guys, what's up? Jewish here and welcome to episode 15 of the Minecraft 1.17 survival let's play. Here we are back in the world and things couldn't be better. The beautiful village, things are looking great. Now in the last episode we did a little bit of fun stuff. We started finally working on revamping the village with this beautiful copper house right here. Now I think it looks really good because with the roof we have some waxed copper blocks that, uh, that haven't aged at all. Some that have aged a little bit and some that have aged all the way and I think the combination of all of it looks absolutely stunning. I think this roof looks amazing and I'm really proud of this blacksmith. I like the detailing work and I think it looks pretty dang good. So I'm proud of it. I don't think I'm totally done with this blacksmith yet because I might extend this platform a bit, add some small houses or shops, things like that and make it look a bit better. But the reason we made this blacksmith is so we have a place for this bad boy or a smithing table so that we can get ourselves full netherite armor. Now, right now I actually do have full netherite armor and that's because I'm recording this introduction after the entire video was recorded because I never recorded an introduction for the video. So, that's what I'm doing now, but in the next clip, uh, you will see the beginnings of the video. So, just a heads up, but we used our gunpowder from our gunpowder farm to make tons of CNC to blow up a ton of the nether, and it was absolutely insane how much nether we got. And we also did some other cool stuff like decorating a cave over here, because we've been building these caves and I wanted to move my nether portal. So, I won't shut off just yet, but we made a pretty awesome area for a nether portal inside the cave. It's very lush, very cool, looks very awesome. So, without further ado, let's get into today's episode. And like I said, this intro was recorded after the actual video, so things will be a little bit different in the next clip. Now, before we get started today, I want to briefly mention, in the last episode, I asked for name suggestions for this little guy right here. We have this cat right here, and I'm not really sure what to name him. I haven't fully decided yet, so, if you guys have any name suggestions, let me know. But also, we've been working in these caves recently. I've made these little caves, and so what I want to do is I have my obsidian here, and I want to take my obsidian and make ourselves a nether portal. My nether portal used to be in the forest, but I want to put it inside here, so what I want to do is hollow out a new part of this cave to get myself a nice area for another portal. I want to make a new part of this cave that looks very similar to the part of the cave we had before. So I'm probably going to hollow out just a small area over here and see how it looks once we decorate it and get another portal inside of here. Okay, so here I have the nether portal and I think it looks pretty good. I made it really big, but let's head inside really fast just to see if we got a good nether spawn just in case I need to move it. And, okay. I think this looks pretty good. I think we're good to go. So, what we're going to work on now is decorating this little room here. This little room right here. I have it all hollowed out. I have the shape I want. But we're going to do like we did with the previous room. Add some grass. Add some glow berries. Add a lot of cobblestone. And also, what did we do? Bone meal, the dirt. Stuff like that. And I think once we're done, once we're done, it'll look pretty nice. Okay, so I finished decorating in here. And I want to show it off. So, let's check it out. Here we go. So, over here, perfect. I think it looks pretty dang good. I messed with some slabs and some stairs with cobblestone. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't do that before, but I think it looks pretty good. A lot of slabs here. Also added everything else, like I said. Uh, we do have the glow berries. We have the grass. We have the bone meal. We have the path blocks. I think this log's pretty good. I want to add just a little bit more path blocks. And we have the portal pretty hidden in the back here. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know. The, I might be able to make it a bit better. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But I think it looks good. I think this whole cave looks pretty good, actually. I might do some more work. And once we get moss blocks and moss slabs, we'll be able to make these caves look even better. But since we don't have them yet, we'll have to wait and see. But so far, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty dang good. And I'm proud of it. So, what we're going to do now is grab all of our supplies and we're going to finally head to the nether. And blow it up a bit to see if we can get ourselves some netherite. Alright, here we are. I dug myself a pretty big tunnel and I want to get past this, uh, what's the spot called? Blackstone. I always forget. And what I'm going to do, basically, is just make myself a super long tunnel. Now, you can see we have a ton of TNT. And what we're going to do is fill this entire tunnel up with TNT. How much TNT we have? We have over two stacks of TNT, so there will be lots of explosions. And I'm also just kind of curious to see, truly, how much netherite we can get from all of this. Obviously, we'll be mining ancient debris, but then four pieces of that equals one piece of netherite. So, we're going to have to make ourselves a pretty long tunnel, because what I'll probably do is space the TNT out maybe every three or four blocks something like that, I think that'll probably be the best, but looks like, yeah, 
I think I'm just gonna make myself a tunnel as far as my eye can see, as far as my render distance can go, and we'll see how this ends up once we're all finished. Oh, 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 oh. Let's block it up. Oh, 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 nope. Look at me go. Professional Minecraft player here. So, okay, this might be a good length. Let's start filling this in with TNT. Even, even if we don't get to fill up the entire tunnel, that's okay. Actually, you know what I can probably do? Hmm. What if I just did it like this, and then I just lit the one piece at the end? That might be the best bet. Instead of lighting each piece individually like I normally do, which takes a long time, I'll just place the TNT every few blocks. Let's see how this goes, though. This might scatter the TNT too much, and it might get a bit messy. But the nice thing is that Ancient Debris is blast resistant, which means you don't have to worry about accidentally blowing up any pieces of ancient debris you might stumble across. The TNT will not blow it up, but the TNT will blow up all other blocks. The only other thing we have to watch out for is the potential for lava. There could potentially be a lot of lava around here. Alright, let's see. We're getting close to the end of the tunnel. I'll place just a bit more. We're not even, we, we pretty much got about one stack down. Let's see. Okay, we're going to do just over a stack of TNT and see how much we get. Now, before I blow this up, I'm going to make myself... Oh! Oh, hey! Hello, look at that. Okay, we got one piece of ancient debris. I'm going to make myself a little tunnel that I can hide down while we light this up. Just to keep myself safe because I want to be extra careful because this TNT can do a lot of damage. Alright, let's blow it up. Actually, we can probably look at it from afar. Okay, there we go. Look at it go. We're going. <laughs> There we go, just blowing up so much stuff. Oh, did it stop already? Or maybe maybe it's just not loaded in. Let's see, once we get closer, if it'll load in. Oh, I think we're done. Okay, well, we have... Is this three pieces, or is this four? This might be the first four vein of ancient debris I've ever found. You usually find ancient debris in veins of one or two. Sometimes you can find them in three, like right here. But occasionally I have heard... Nope. You can't find them in veins of four. I've never found them in veins of four before. But you can. Now I have to be extra careful because last time I was mining for ancient debris, I missed a piece and everyone yelled at me in my comments section. So, I have to be really careful not to miss any this time. Oh, looks like the TNT did stop blowing up. Okay, well let's, let's work on getting this blown up some more. We'll light it and then we'll run away so that we don't die. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta be careful. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're blowing up some more. Okay, it seems like it's going pretty well. Some of the TNT might have just been too far away from each other to blow up anymore. Alright, this is beautiful. I love this. This is any Minecraft player's best dream. I love this so much. Whoop. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Any more ancient debris? Okay, there's a piece. This might have not been the most efficient way to done it. You know, I think it's a lot better when I spaced out the TNT about three or four blocks away from each other. But this is still, this is still working pretty well. I mean, we're still getting ourselves a decent amount of ancient debris. Now, I checked my chests at home. I actually do have two ingots of netherite and then two pieces of netherite scrap. So two more pieces and I can get myself the third ingot and then we just need one more ingot to get ourselves a full set of netherite armor. And then after that, I also would potentially like to get enough netherite to complete my tools, turn all my tools into netherite. But that's not essential today, I'm more so just worried about the armor. Plus, my tools aren't perfect yet. You know, my sword, this one, this sword is just sharpness 5. I thought, um, I got I'm breaking on it, I guess I didn't. Maybe I had a different sword, I don't really remember, let's see. Let's be careful though. And yeah, this X is pretty good, but yeah, not everything's perfect yet, so we still have a little ways to go before everything's perfect. What's going on? Oh, I guess I just can't be shifting. Okay, let's run away. And I'll make sure to uh, go back to this tunnel one more time before I'm finished, just to make sure I didn't accidentally skip any pieces of ancient debris that I didn't see before. All right, let's see, any? There's also tons of quartz and tons of nether gold that you could also mine if you needed gold or if you just needed some XP. Both are good options. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, we have these two pieces here. That's pretty good. We're already at six. I mean, six pieces is pretty good, considering you only need four to make one netherite ingot. And we only need four netherite ingots total to do our armor, and then four for our tools. But we already have our pickaxe set. So, we should be, we should be pretty good. All right, let's see. So far, now we have officially enough that we can get ourselves a full set of armor. But let's see if we can get any more ancient debris. We still have over a full stack 
of TNT. So we've got a lot of TNT to go before we're done. So I'm going to continue with this tunnel, filling it up with TNT, and I'll be back with you guys once we're done. Okay, time to light another tunnel. Let's be careful. we got to get out of the way. Okay. Hopefully all the TNT is close enough this time. I think I think I got it. I think I just can't go three or... Oh, well, I guess not. I was going to say, I think I can't go three or more blocks. And then, you know, after at that point, it'll stop blowing up. So, let's see. Let's build up a little bit. We can just light it some more. It's all right. It's okay. We can take our time here. Oh, wait. Got to get out of the way. Woo. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay. It's a little bit slow. Hmm. Well, I guess if I have to just stand behind the TNT and light it... It's not the end of the world. It's still okay. Okay. Any more ancient debris around here? Don't see me. Okay. Let's keep looking. This is going really well. I love this. Just all the TNT blowing up. It's so fun. Oh, there's a piece. Almost got covered up by lava. I wouldn't have noticed it. Okay. Good thing we're traveling behind here. Oh, there's two pieces actually. Okay. Oh, three. Yo. Okay. Let's go. Can we get four? Nope. Just three. Okay. Well, hey, that's that's still pretty good. I mean, I'm I'm a fan of that. Let's see. Ooh, lots of lava here. We ran into a lava pool. It's okay. There might be some lava inside the ancient debris. I could always swim through it and look, but I'm not that worried about it. I still have a tiny bit of TNT to go, though. We still have 19 pieces of TNT, so we're not done yet. No, another vein of three pieces. Okay, we're getting pretty lucky today. I'm getting a lot of ancient debris. Dang. You can see how efficient this is. This is why you guys need to get yourself a gunpowder creeper farm because you can get so much TNT and then it becomes so easy to get yourself ancient debris and netherite. Here we go, even more perfect. And then what we'll do, we'll head back, we'll smelt all of this down in the blacksmith and then craft ourselves some armor and I think we should all be good. Now in case I did miss any, like I said, I will go back through this tunnel one more time before I head back. I guess I have to head through this tunnel anyways before I head back because yeah, the way back is over there, so let's see. Any more? Looks like there's probably not any more. Okay, let's start mining in a different direction because I don't want to be blowing up that stuff. That stuff's hard to blow up. Got to get our Y level to Y level 14. Boom, there we go. And then we should be all set to go. Time to make ourselves a new tunnel. Oh, okay, maybe not right here. Maybe we'll make it somewhere else. I'll just try to find an area where there's not a ton of lava. Okay, for the last tunnel, I'm doing the old way of doing things where we just walk backwards and light the TNT with us. Now, already... We have 16 pieces of ancient debris, which is pretty dang good, because that can get us four netherite ingots, which is enough for our armor on our own. Plus, like I said, we have two ingots back at the base, and also two pieces of scrap. So if I get any more from this, that'll be cool, but if not, that's also fine. Alright, let's see, let's go around here. I did see that one piece over there, so we at least got one piece, which is pretty good. But hopefully, we got even more, let's see. Even if it was only one piece, though, I'm still okay with that. Better than nothing. There's one piece. And then, anything else? Ooh, big drop. Okay, I don't think, yeah, don't see anything else. So, now what I'll do before I'll head back is I'm just going to go through the tunnel one more time, and I'll look very careful. Oh, parkour is not on point today. I'll be careful, look back through it one more time, and see just to make sure if I missed any pieces of ancient debris. I don't think I did, but sometimes I do, especially, especially with me being colorblind. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky sometimes. Some blocks, it's really hard for me to tell the distinction between. Ancient Debris and Netherrack is one of those combinations where it's hard for me to tell the difference. The other hard difference is iron and copper. It used to be a lot worse before they gave us the new copper texture, but the old ones especially were super hard. Oh, see, look, right there, there's one piece I missed. So that's why I said I would go back through it. I'm not perfect. People probably already spotted this piece and yelled at me in the comments section, but it's okay. Let's grab this one really fast. Ooh! Two. Okay. And it's okay if it falls in the lava because, like I said, uh, it doesn't burn. I'm gonna swim in this lava really fast because I think one piece might have fallen in. I wasn't paying attention to how much was in my inventory if we collected it or not. Even if I missed it, it's okay. It's just one piece. We have enough. It's not a big deal. So, let's see if there's any more in this cave. There could be. I guess I'll pay better attention to the ceiling since I guess I missed one there. Now, netherite slash ancient debris. I should say ancient debris. I just kind of say netherite. Ancient debris can spawn at any Y level in the nether, but it's much more common at these lower Y levels. Plus, these lower Y levels are nice because you don't have to worry about falling from the ceiling, and you also have less lava pools and pockets of lava to worry about. There are still some, as you can see, but there's definitely a lot less, and you don't have to worry about them too much. Okay, I think we probably cleared out all of the ancient debris because I'm not seeing any more pieces. Let's be careful here. Don't want the piglins attacking us. Oh, is he mad? Oh, he's mad. He's mad. 
He's mad because my gold armor. Okay, you guys, are you still going to attack me? Even though I have gold armor now? Okay, they are. That's that's fine. I'll just I'll just take him out. But here, let's see. Any more ancient debris? Any more ancient debris? Let's see. I think I think we got it all. Okay. Well, pretty sure we got it all. So time to head back to the base, smelt all this up, and finally get ourselves full netherite armor. We're gonna get that beautiful achievement. Cover me in debris, finally on this world. And then pretty soon we will be working on fighting the Ender Dragon. We're not gonna do it just yet. Um, but probably in the next couple episodes or so, we will work on finishing off the Ender Dragon. Let's see, though. Any more pieces? I think we're probably good. If I do miss any pieces and anyone else sees them, you can let me know down in the comments section. And I can always come back to this spot. It's not too far from my main portal, so it shouldn't take too long to get back here if I need to. But yeah, I think we pretty much covered all of it. So, time to head back to the Nether Portal. Okay, here we go. I think, yeah, we have some Blast Furnaces here. Okay, sweet. Perfecto. Get 10 in there, 9 in here, and then I'll head back to my base and get the other pieces. Now, I'm not sure if I actually have any gold. I'm, I have tons of raw gold. I know that. I don't know if I have any gold ingots, so let's see if I have any. Hopefully in some of these chests I do. Okay, we have 4 there. Uh, oh, yeah, we have enough. Okay, here we go. Oh, I lied. I actually have 3 netherite scrap. Let's look through any of these chests and see if I have any more netherite. These actually aren't all my chests. I do have some chests in uh, one village house, so I'll also check those out. But looks like in these chests, at least, I don't think there's any more. But we're still doing pretty well. Like I said, we have these two pieces. And my armor, actually, isn't perfect yet. So before before we get ourselves full netherite, I'll probably want to perfect my armor. So it looks like I could use maybe another helmet. See, We'll see if we get another protection three. But everything else is fine. I actually want the fire protection on that one piece of armor there for a reason. Because I always like to have fire protection on at least one piece of armor. It makes it so I don't have to worry about carrying fire protection potions with me, but it also gives me the leeway to fall into lava or fire if I need to and not take too much damage. So if I'm mining or blowing up the nether for netherite, it's okay if I fall into lava. It won't kill me instantly. Okay, let's see. And fire protection. Okay, well, that's not really what I want. Looks like I could also maybe enchant my sword. Hmm. Well, I guess let's just go for the helmet and see what we get. We could potentially get some other enchantments. Okay. Not the best. Where's the grindstone? Let's grind her out. Let's see what else we can get. We can do one more enchantment. If not, we can go to the XP farm later on. And nope, not what I'm looking for. It's all right. We can we can work on enchanting it maybe in the beginning of next episode or sometime later today. Okay, beautiful. Here we go. So we have our netherite scrap and we have our gold and boom, there we go. We have seven ingots. So definitely enough to get ourselves a full set of armor. But I don't know if I'll do all my armor just yet because like I said, not all of my armor is perfect and also not even all of my tools are perfect yet. So, we'll still have a little bit of work to do. I can do it off camera, maybe I can do it on stream, we'll have to see, okay. Uh, the shovel is perfect. So we can do the shovel. I'll also get mending on all of this. We do have we do have mending. We've gotten mending before. We have it on the pickaxe. I do have a mending villager that currently lives in this library house. And I also have... I used to have my enchantment table in there. But we can get mending from him. And we can get the emeralds from trading paper for emeralds with our amazing automatic sugarcane farm that we made a while ago just over there. So, definitely will all work out. So it looks like, okay, we have three ingots left. One will go to make a netherite helmet, and then we'll have two left. And I guess one can go to the sword, and then one can go to one of these axes. You know what? Um, I think what we'll do... Since I like my silk touch axe, it's my only silk touch. Let's just combine these two axes so that we can get efficiency 5 on it. Because I don't want to make it netherite if it's not perfect. We can get efficiency 5 on it, and then we'll be all set to make this bad boy netherite. Alright, sweet. So we're doing pretty good for ourselves. I mean, things are going really well. So like I said, sometime pretty soon I'll work on getting ourselves full enchantments. And then once we're fully enchanted, we can take on the Ender Dragon, do all that fun stuff in the end. And I think things will be going very well for us. Anyways, guys, that is all for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed. Lots of fun episodes and lots of fun things to the series coming soon. As always, if you have any suggestions as to what you want to see me do or how I can improve on anything in the world... Let me know down in the comments below. Or if you guys just want to talk or have any questions, let me know. I try to answer a lot of the comments, but sometimes it's hard to get all of them. But, like I said, that's all for today. My name is Jay Wisp, and I will see you guys all in the next episode.